Who said you'd be expecting me? Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship. But you should be able to get some of his guys talking. me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. As ornery as ever. As he is. You won't mess with me. Huh? You're in the wrong place. Oh. Same story for the last damn week. Been hmm? sick. Catch! Don't know what's wrong with you. Hey, boss, you got anything for me today? I ain't fishing around here. Let's head to take for. Come on. Huh? It's been a safe story. Word is, Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. Either you kill me or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Well, today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here. And the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. 
Creeping up on somebody? But she never got a taste for rum. Tell her to drink it with soda, then. Tell her it's Cuban. Don't you kind of feel like it ripping off Roy? Roy Thibodeau is a goddamn Excuse pussycat. Me. He'd probably give you a case himself. Now, can I meet Darlene's friend or what? Trying to get medical supplies to Cuba for extra cash. Sweet Jesus, I know where dance? the shipment is. Your ass is mine now. What's this? Medical supplies. Antibiotics, bandages, bunch of other stuff. Thought you could put it to good use. I probably don't want to know where this came from. Don't ask and I won't have to tell you. Fair enough. I know some folks who can use this. I'll take it from here. Anybody follow you? Roy is rattled. Scared of Greco. I'm terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. What's the over-under on Greco getting rid of Mr. Thibodeau? It's good odds we keep losing money in merchandise like we've been. Boy, I don't have the balls for this kind of weight. Old boy's a paper pusher. Well, this kind of thing's good for fellas like us. Battlefield promotions come a lot quicker. Assuming the man hitting us don't sneak in here and cut your goddamn throat. <clears throat> Maybe you should worry about that. <clears throat> you don't want to do this? They'd have killed your ass anyway. need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greg goes a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want, but don't kill him. That's for me. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Klimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had. But there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. You can't touch this. Touch this. You can't 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 touch this. You can